well hello hello my dear viewers my dear friends welcome back to the channel and to kingdom come deliverance last time if you remember we had some sort of training with mr captain bernard and we were on our way to the archery training we had to leave the episode in a sort of a cliffhanger but now let us see where that takes us to the archery range i would expect lead the way captain bernard sir can we like walk eh, not really we have to sort of waddle our way i'm sure there's a way to just walk but i don't i don't know it so i'll just push on ahead you'll follow me instead ha ha good day sir and good day to you as well all right townsman and that's a big big never seen one with this sort of main thing oh well I've seen a, sh a fair share of pigs for a city boy like me, but never one with that type of mane. I can never cease to say it, this game is beautiful. Ah, I've been here before, and I kinda did make a fool out of myself here. But, um, yeah, this place still gives me flashbacks. Oh well, we'll see how it goes. Ooh. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thanks oh, thank you. Save the thanks and get in position. Yes, sir. Now concentrate. Okay, so. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very... You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. Oh. Pulling the thing like a piece of firewood. Shooting, you don't. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your <laughs> I hit the guy. And then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. Okay, this. If you were about to draw it back more, it's all one movement. The arrow aiming this... at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. But you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. What the? Try shooting at a barn door. Oh, shut up. I'll sh shoot you if I have to. Maybe the fellow's short sighted. That flew. All right. Oh, this was, well, that was terrible. Awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. Ouch. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly person. Oh, shut up, you After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. Roger, who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. That's it. Really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. And I will. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay. Oh, wait, no. Do you even have any coin? Not in archery. I, I can't beat you in archery. Good. Then let's get to it. Oh, come on. I can't. No. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, come on.
Okay, so far so good. No bullseyes, but... Ow! At least I have two points and he has zero. Oh boy. Alright. So... Ah! Oh, no! Ah! Wait, what? How did I got well, six? I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day. It doesn't matter. I beat him. I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that horse during the last... Oh, month, sure, what sure. Are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? All right. right. All right. I'll be your sorry is ass. Is this necessary? Mr. Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. I'll beat Excellent. your ass. Just you wait. Hans Capon. Okay, okay. I was trying to do the faint, but I don't seem to be able to do it. I don't know what's wrong. I'm trying to. You'll get what for. Take that. Okay, 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 give some distance. Show what you made of. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you proper. There we go. Okay, 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 got a little carried away. Come on. Come on, you. Filthy animal. Ow! Okay, okay, okay. Don't, don't worry. Okay. Oh, shut up, will you? You asked for it. Hmm. Oh dear, did that hurt? Ow. Uh. Did it also hurt when I took the spoon out of your ass? Uh. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah. No grabs is. Yeah. 
God damn. No more fooling around. the better of me this time blacksmith i must be having an off day sure sure you are right, sir. don't worry your mangy head about me peasant we'll see each other again soon enough you can keep my bow it's best years are behind it anyway thank you my lord <laughs> Whew. then again if i'm being totally honest this could have been completely scripted I mean, the sword fight, I'm sure I could fail. And then again, also the archery. I could have failed the archery. I don't know how I scored that last arrow, but... Mm, I don't know. Anyway. Mm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it back. I don't care if he had. He shouldn't, he shouldn't have challenged, have challenged me. me. Careful. You might be under Sir Adzik's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Yes, now, yes. Go to the roundhouse. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. I will. Let's go. Report to the bailiff. I... I was trying to do the feint move, the one where you supposedly going to attack from one side, but then change to the other side. I wasn't... I wasn't able to do it. Maybe, maybe it was not as I think it was to be done. Because what I thought, what I remember was, you had to charge the attack, and then when you when you release it, change the direction. That's what I was trying to do, but apparently it did not work. So I don't know. I'll have to read up on it a bit afterwards. But I did get a level in agility, so I think that now... Let me just check it really quick. I think that now I have no problems in using my weapon. Because now I have agility proper, so... It shouldn't give me... Yeah, it doesn't give me the, the warning anymore, so... GG! I now have a useful, powerful sword. That is cool. That is very cool. So, let's go to the Ratao. And it started raining. It's surprising how mid-May, mid-ish May, it's raining like hell here in Portugal. Like, I hope you guys don't, don't hear it through the microphone. You shouldn't, but... Anyway, am I on the right spot? I might... Okay, I might not be, but... Are you the bailiff? No. You're the trader, you're the tailor. Okay, I'm not on the right... Okay, but I think... That I should go up here. Knock, knock. Okay, so far so good. Anything interesting? Okay, no. Ah, I think you're the one I need, sir. Bailiff? Yes. Hello, sir. My respects to you. Oh, thank you. Join the bailiff service. Who can teach me to read? About Rete is something going on here. Okay, so who can teach me to read? to read? Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe, Anujitz. He could teach you. Okay. Uh, Bartrete. Yeah, okay, don't. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. Alright, so no missions. Okay, join the Bailiff service. The bailiff command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed. Yes. That'll be me. 
Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We have a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have. I have. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And Very well. Stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Taylor. Thank you very much. All right, and the game saved. Cool. All right. I decided it's best to keep honest about these things. I figure because it was him who challenged me. So yeah, there's no point in me telling otherwise. Oh, I have to go to the other end of town to get the my kit. I shall go there really quick. I know what time is it? Okay, so still a bit of time and it's between 11 and 19 p.m. so So we have the time. Now all we need is the technology. I hope I can access the armory from here because if we, we might be able to, we might be able to. So yeah, let's let's go. Lots of people begging. Probably a lot of these are from Rete. Because well, we all know not Rete. Scalets. We all know what happened in Scalets. Oh. Sorry. Alright, so the armory is... Oh, okay, there, there's some stairs here. <laughs> Alright. Should I ask you? It's better, yeah. Better to, to pick up a kit here. Yes. <laughs> I'd say there's not much room for improvement. You already look as good as any vassal, but your wish is my command. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. No, thank you. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. That is true. <laughs> all right. So this is lockpick, lockpick. And there was something to... Oh, it's arrows to rob. Okay, let's not hang anger the guard here. And let's I'm a little over encumbered. So I can equip the bow and I'm gonna do so. I'm gonna equip these arrows. And um let's see, okay, so this is worse than what I have. And Okay, I can add the Gamson. It doesn't hurt. Okay, and I think that the rest is already done. So I need to stop by a shop. I need to stop by a blacksmith. So. Before I present myself to service, I just I'm gonna do, oh yeah, <laughs> oh this is gonna be fun. Before I go before I present myself to service, I'll just how can I oh I have to go all the way around. Okay, um, it's highly probable that I'll cut this part just because it'll take me a bit to get there. So yeah, give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, we are here. Now, let's see if I can sell him my Jesus stuff. Jesus Christ be praised. 
Yes, yes. Let's talk trade. Okay, so I wanna sell. Okay, so what can I sell? I wanna sell the bludgeon. I mean, the damage is not that bad. But, uh, okay, I, I, I can keep him if I have the space. I'm gonna sell the bassinet. And I... Didn't I equip this? Oh no, it is equipped. Okay, I'm gonna sell... I'm gonna sell these. And I'm gonna sell these and these. Uh, I really didn't want to sell this because... To be honest, I'm kind of attached to... To some things. Especially when they are quest rewards, but I do need to sell something. Okay, I'm gonna sell these because they are already way past the... Um, I might as well start selling some stuff. What is this? Not for every... Okay, I'll save this in my... Okay, I'll sell the hides. I'll probably regret this, but they're the most... They're the heaviest things I have on me right now, so I will sell them. And uh, it's the armor, really. It's it. It really is the armor. Oh, this is already broken. Well, you know what? I might as well. Yeah, I might as well sell it. I lose a bit, but it's okay. I'll just. I'll just sell it, so... Alright. I don't think I have anything else worth... I'm gonna sell the bludgeon. Honestly, I'm gonna sell the bludgeon. I, I don't need it, so I'm gonna sell it. So, okay, I get 73, check basket. And... We might as well try to haggle a bit. Let's talk about the price. See if he can give well, me a little bit more. Can try it. Well... I'm sure you'll... Okay, so I'll try to get... I'll try to get... 80. I, I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna push it. He's not what gonna take to it. This? Well, that sounds pretty interesting. A little less and I'll be satisfied. Okay. Oh, no. No. All right, so. Wait, what? Okay, I might have accepted it. It's okay. All right. Oops, sorry. I saw some things. So, let's go, let me just take the marker. Alright, let's go to the mission. To the patrol. I can sprint now, yes! I don't know if I gain anything from sprinting, if, I, if my agility gets higher. Because, I don't know, maybe this stamina is linked to a skill. Because I lose stamina way too quickly, <laughs> but it might be due to this to the skill power. Oh, in Skyrim the the signs move. <laughs> I was honestly expecting that. But hey, let's go. Let's report to duty. Oh, it's a butcher. That's what this is. All right, report to the church. Yaroslav is the one I need to meet. On patrol between 11 and 19. So still not. I want to skip. I want to skip one hour, just, just a little bit, just enough. I should go buy some food. I don't have food. No, that's okay. Okay, I just need. Are they inside? Ah, Yaroslav, I guess. Yes. Nightingale. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. A little Nightingale. dirty, but... Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Yes, I am. Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honour to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I am... Um... I oh, thank <laughs> That's not that. You should go and see her when you get a chance. I oh, will, how yes. How did you end up in the service of the bailiff? Courtship. 
Ooh, gourd chip. Go and see Teresa the middle wench before noon. Oh. I want to be useful, that's all. I don't all. want to be kicking around in the dirt while other men do honest work. You're an eager one, aren't you? Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Let's go. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let me just quickly check before noon. Wait, does this mean I fail if I don't go there before noon? Okay, I might have to... Ah, caps lock. Ah, now you tell me. Ah, oh, there we go. Serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the lords of Lipa, our masters. Mm. The grave digger lives right round the corner. The priest too, our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. <sighs> this is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. Carrots and apples, pick today. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brown. Oh, I've been autumn, there. And two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. Swordsmith, that's interesting. I might need to visit him someday. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. Go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that the new pile big enough for you? Excuse me, sir. What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. He just goes and no knows them with their with his hands. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Okay. All right, you should let her. Okay, so how is she What's bothering? What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in the square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Okay. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Uh. Why? Folk drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. Well... Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armourer? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Oh, come on. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. See? From the armourer here. I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. Oh, what come on. What did you know about it? Uh Okay, should I Uh what would you uh, will both contribute to poor Jane? I mean he might be inclined to contribute if I do it as well. But then again he might just tell me to bugger off. My god, the state of my clothes. If only I give it. Okay, I'll try this one. We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Fine. There we go. Fine, have it your way. God bless you, and, and you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. You're as bad as each other. Oh, shut up. Hello, sir. Did I do good? 
Apparently I don't deserve a commentary. Okay, no problem. Maybe I'll have my status report at the end. Your old neighbors are living here ah. now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sahanush. If the town burgers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. Ah. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Let us hope not. The old common great-great-great-grandfather thingy. <laughs> Royals, am I right? Oh, look, there's another dog. Hello, you're a little bit skinny. Oh, wash myself. Just, I want to be presentful. Oh. Ah, new level in vitality, that's cool. I don't know how I got it, but I got it. Alright, we should be coming close to the end this of the video. Here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. We might have to leave it in a cliffhanger again, boys and girls. Uh, yeah, because our time is coming to an end. Let's see where we get to, if we get to another dispute. We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. Oh, that's that's not cool. Maybe someone should go save the poor damsel. Look here. Hmm. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. What? What? What has he done? Okay, there's some story here. <laughs> Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanush saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All okay. Right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. But, There's one ale but, here on the market. Wait. There. The traders tab. What about the, uh... the up by the gate? We'll be going there later. Okay, I'm confused. I'm genuinely confused. Sir Yaroslav, sir. Okay. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll leave it here. The session is ending and I really don't want to push it past the 30 minutes mark. Otherwise, you guys won't watch the videos. Not that they already get much views <laughs> with the size they are. But I feel like this game really does deserve the, the 30 minute mark. So, so yeah. I'll leave it here for today. This is the end of the first week of this triumphant return after the end of my semester and I hope that next week will go as smoothly and as productive as then as this one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please if you have subscribe and leave a like and a comment down below. Both are very very much appreciated. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Metsy Pieces. I try to post some things other than just the videos, I'm still trying to get my head around the fact that I should be sharing some more stuff. I'm more on Twitter than on Instagram, but still, I am trying. And if you guys enjoy, please do all that, and I will see you next time. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.